ascent is green. Coordinating, path is calm. Good, you're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna talk your ear off about your civic duty as a man. That is what she's here to do. The woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder? Pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. Sure, go ahead. What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. He can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. And what's your secret? I have nothing to do with it. It's all him. I call bullshit on that. It's definitely your influence. Something. Maybe all these years you thought you knew me, you were sadly mistaken. You wish. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. Place. Ready? So where's your mystery project? Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. It'll take years. 
I might not even see it. But that's okay. A sorry thing in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. What seeds do you have? Desert flowers and grasses from across the Milky Way. Colors we don't even have names for. When they've prepared the ground, roses someday. Ready? One, two, Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. The crew is ready to discuss how to approach the Remnant City, Pathfinder. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. I think we should head to the vault. Do some poking around there. Sounds risky. We might break it again. Maybe we can get the Moshai to hell. She wouldn't break it. Do you know how damp it is here? And it's been days since I've eaten something that didn't come in a bag.
Jal! Jal! <laughs> Wait. Is that bad news? No, <laughs> no. The Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadara. Nice to meet you. I know Ingara liked the hugging. Giles told me how much he admires you. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <clears throat> Mother. <clears throat> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And every child is her favorite. Everyone, this is Scott. Hi. Look who the car can drag to. Welcome back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Kwana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then, Bavezil, Rolu. So wonderful to hey, Jal. have you back. Hey, human. Jal, you bring in someone special to meet us. Wow. Cozy. We like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My tiny sanctuary. We have a saying that I like. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no. Who put this here? Schematics? Of... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart to learn. And that is, was, a carkin. Pet carkin. <laughs> Outfit. He died. So I also took him apart. To learn? Why not? I never show people these things, but I feel like we're family. It's been good getting to know you. Hey, there's one more thing you might like. Sit there. Been interesting so far. Nice. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just one more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Me too, Jal. Me too.
got them all. Those are the coordinates we were sent. In the message about the Salarians? Let's stay sharp! Hostiles! Enemies! Might have left something. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughan, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled... inconveniences. The Solarian Union's fixers. If you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. A lot of people came to Andromeda for a fresh start. I'm sure I'll enjoy mine when I find it. Let's be frank, there are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden, but the evidence is thin. I need a Pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Reka help you solve this? I trust Reka implicitly, but I can't say the same for her team. You're obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What's the standard punishment for cat collaborators? Most people would settle for an angry mob, but I like to think justice made the trip out here. Uh, remember Dr. Adden's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck.
We're going to need to research the Ghost Storm tech for the other Pathfinders as soon as we can. Approaching the LZ. That's Techix, according to my map. Dr. Adden's workspace, the one the STG agent is investigating. Temperatures. Remnant site up ahead. Careful. Cat signals detected ahead, Pathfinder. Let's get a scan. Let's get a scan. That pod drop was a bad surprise, Basil. Is that your try at a dad voice? A. You're way too young. And B, uh, sorry. Dads aren't the authoritarians in our families. Not joking about the pod. Okay, okay. Dr. Adams' contact.
Let's get a scan. This cat has a Milky Way comm device implanted. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian Ark. The best leads on Adam's betrayal, and they're both circumstantial. Too bad for Salen. We could head to the Nexus and ask Reiko about this. Maybe she knows something. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped to the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Hurting me goes against Sam's design. Because AI have never acted against their designs before. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. All right. I'll find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Lexi. I apologize for any distress I have caused you. And I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that, even if you don't have cells to prove it. Orbit is steady. Tinkadara.
Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Here we are. You ready? You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Less talk, more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. And no jump jets. No one likes a cheat. All right, that's it. Now, I'm gonna show you how it's done. You can try. Pride goeth before a fall. Having fun? <sighs> Told you I'd show you. Oh, I am well and truly shown. Wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. I'm glad you came aboard too. It wouldn't have been the same without you. All systems green. Now orbiting Gadara.
The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the Ket sent back was his badge, and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. Why kill an ambassador and risk retaliation? They told us it was retaliation for Havaral's attack on their envoy. Havaral received the same story. But in that one, we were the aggressors. We were so busy blaming each other. We were divided when the Ket launched their assault. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vote when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat. We were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The Captain had saved our lives. The enemy uses confusion to take advantage of the vulnerable. Many shuttles obeyed that false order. Those people were never seen again. The Moshai said we should speak. You remember the Ket's arrival. One of them came to our city on a val to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. The Ket lured your people into a false friendship. It worked. A month later, our council disappeared. Our city was thrown into chaos. And when the Ket came again, it was to conquer us at our weakest. They're cunning. They know what you desire, and they offer it. Be careful. Welcome back.
Huh. You acquired the components? Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. on course. I aim for the throat. Throat's covered. I go for the eyes. Only place on a cat head without armor. Harder to hit. I'd rather go for the sure thing, even if it takes a couple more shots. Smoke in the distance. Probably the crashed ship we're looking for. Cat killing other cat? I say we wade in and clean up this mess.
What's this? It appears to be a cat data log, Pathfinder. It may contain saved data of some variety. Can we access this data, Sam? The device is locked. Anything you can do to bypass the lock? This is beyond my current capabilities. We have never encountered a cat device with security like this before. I suggest we bring it back to the Tempest for further analysis. Welcome back. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. The cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed cat ship. It's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some ket? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those ket genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time at... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but, it, but it's not. It's... it's... Uh... it just locked onto a transmission. Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is... audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean... try to make some kind of deal? Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder.
Return to screen. Coordinating. Path is calm. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. That looks like cat tech. Wonder if there's anything hidden away back here. Loot from our outposts. And an Ark escape pod? Where did they get that? Crap. Do you think they might have found an Ark? We... This is the nav point Suvi gave us, but there's nothing here. Just this beacon. Routing through a bunch of proxies to hide a transmission's true location. Sounds like something I'd do if I wanted to speak out against you. If it's all con connected, then this beacon warrants a closer look. I hear resource shipments are up. A good sign for people trying to live here. Look, they can't set up camp. Pathfinder, the Scourge has reached this remnant site. Hostile activity is present.
Let's see where this beacon leads us. Pathfinder, I have located another node on this network. Updating your Omni tool with the information. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Look at that. The remnant stake to claim over there. mentions a nav point. I've extracted the information and added it to your map. Then we know where the researcher was headed. Let's go. I like busting dooms, getting all six wheels off the ground. Rock signal comes and goes. You've evened out the weather, but I wouldn't call reception clear. Heel still feels frontier. Claimed, but not tamed, we like to say. Pathfinder, I have located another node on this network. Updating your Omni tool with the information. makes of this planet. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
I miss climbing for fun. Everything's life or death now. The Black Rock feels old. The transmission is strong and unobstructed here, Pathfinder. Looks like you found it then. That's a lot of dead cat. <sighs> Exaltation lifted our ancestors out of sorrow and tribulation. This noble gift now allows us to raise others and share in the genetic bounty of this galaxy. But the Archon would selfishly hoard what Helios has to offer. Recorded messages? I know proper propaganda when I hear it. Probably broadcast widely. The Archon does not serve Ken's interests, only his own. He wastes our time on the Remnant, but keeps all knowledge for himself. These are the acts of a traitor, not true Ken. The Archon believes Meridian will bring him power. He will become the master of the Remnant, its sole master. Once Helios submits, where does the traitor turn his gaze? Think. Understand. Our home is in peril. Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. There must be more here. This can't be it. And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Determination is a personality trait, not a genetic one. Not the personality is something you understand, or have. You waste time on pettiness. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. The Archon's obsession with the Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. I take it you need my help for this? I am Ket. I do not need help. I would use you as a tool to hasten the Archon's destruction. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Exaltation. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. Take it. We'll need all the help we can get. Deals with the devil always end badly. I don't want to end badly. What exactly do I get from this deal? Sometime soon, I will be called upon by the Archon to destroy you. When that time arrives, I will provide you with the means to disable my ship. Or you could just leave me alone. And should you fail to bring down the Archon, my treachery will be exposed. Covering your own ass. Fine. Anything that'll help me kill the Archon. During our next clash, I shall lower my ship's defenses and allow you to use a kill code to disable it. I have transmitted the code to the console in this room. I bid you goodbye, Pathfinder. We will not speak again.
Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Hello? Another cache of stoner supplies, alerting the dock manager. My team and I surveyed Eos thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Showdown on Kadara, rivals vie for power on the Exile port. After a bitter fight with their rival outcasts, the Collective has now claimed control of Kadara. Outcast leader Sloan Kelly was killed by sniper fire when the Collective seized power. Following the victory, Collective spokesperson is up. Dorgan vowed to loosen restrictions, a step many fear will make Kadara more dangerous. Kadara is important for the people. We survived the cats, endured the outcasts. Ah, Ryder. Grab a seat. So, afterwards, the cat got twitchy. Took me a while to get back. The idea of Solarians figuring out exultation must keep them up at night. Oh, I hope so. So you're finding out the cat's dirty exaltation secrets? That's the plan. Your star maps were helpful, by the way. You're welcome. Between us, charting the Scourge and Rider's Vault data, the cat will run out of bolt holes. I'll send you our latest. I'll take a copy as well. Anything to expand the search grid. Still hunting down the stasis pods. And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I guess I need to train a successor, and figure out how to prepare them. Better to find your wings as you fly. Worked for us, didn't it? More groundwork would have helped in the early days. Huh. Well, that's worth knowing. In the meantime, we've a serious matter to deal with. The first vintage bottled in Andromeda. 
sent as a gift. Well, good thing I brought my flask. Damn, that smells good. Since we've got a moment to ourselves, shall we toast? To our crews, our Sams, and each other. May we always find our path home. Ryder, always a pleasure. I hear you're assisting Major Salem Varn's investigation into Dr. Adden. You know Salem? I met him once or twice. A remarkable agent, despite his age. Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. Salem gave me two leads, but everything I found was inconclusive. I've tried enlisting ARC leadership, those who woke first, but they've been busy, unhelpful, or both. Perhaps we should get... creative. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of the ARC officers who woke early, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around, carefully, see what you can find. Locked. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. There may be additional clues, Pathfinder. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Reka mentioned. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the Scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? My fault. I'm visiting a friend and these doors all look alike. You're quite obviously not here by accident. Now please, explain why you broke in, or I'll have to report this to the militia. I'm working with Major Salen Varn. He has the paperwork. Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Still got that planet identified, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder. Let's see why Rand or...
course. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. He's back! Remnant Abyssal! These are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Solarian apartment. And nothing. There's sand traps all over. Let's look under the surface. Something was here, then dragged that way. We've got company. Probably scavengers looking for junk. The trail leads right to them. My
hydrate, but alive. Pass the metagel. Let's get him back on his feet. Salen, what happened to you? Salen? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. Cracked your head, huh? I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salen you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. Adden used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. I examined the department belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lon. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him, and I'll bet Rand Lon has disappeared. Adam. Ah! He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Adam, feign ignorance, and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. All systems green.
visiting Kadara. Okay, cut the crap. You got a problem with me, Costa? I don't know. Are you actually here? If I'm not, you're haunted. I mean here, here. With the initiative. We're doing something important. And you don't trust me. Like I said, depends on whether you're here. There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? So it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Selling your Ark to the cat makes no logical or tactical sense. To you, because you lack data. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets, so one day we could destroy them along with their exaltation. Hey, I know how not to get exalted. Get ourselves exalted, you idiot. Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. After love, a happy ending. Arrest me, and you'll never find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? Me, Reka, the others, we all owe you for this ride. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. Those pirates, Costa. Here we go. No, it's great. Really thinking for the team when you gave Varand that data. Glad we could help clear that up. You're welcome. Right.
Ryder.